Hey, welcome. So this is going to be a, a, a demo training on how to use um, just, you know, the sign-up scripts in the Automation Club. club. So um, everything that we're doing here is is, is in is in Browsio IA, only multi-threaded, right? So it's exactly the same thing. I'm just doing everything in um, in the browser just to show you exactly how everything works. But again, Browsio IA is exactly the same as this. Same script, same everything, same functionality, only multi-threaded, okay? So uh, the, the next video, I'm gonna show you how to connect the if this, then that uh, scripts that, everyone's, uh, that everyone has access to. But this is just specifically if those of you have got the iMacro Club membership. So we have, okay, the logins we have as part of that as well. And then the signups, we don't have all the signups just yet. Um, we should have them over the next couple of days. Um, so this is how you do it basically. You just open that up, make sure that you're logged into your um, Gmail and your Facebook account because it will use either Gmail or Facebook. And that's it. And you just click play, click them all, and it'll go through one at a time and do all of the uh, um, um, all of the signups using the O8. It's pretty awesome stuff. I'm really excited about this, as you probably heard in my previous video. Um, just never really been able to automate things like this before. Um, but we have complete control over here within each browser instance. So. Um, yeah, so that's it's very cool. It, it gives more authority to the profile as well. It shows the profile that you're the real deal, especially if you're signing up with uh, profiles that are all um, that have been you know built up over time um, for all of them. So this is going to be for the uh, um, username information that it's going to add on the next page. I believe it's going to be the next page, or it might just be done. Ah, there you go. Ready. It's all done. So Bitly's done. Now it's going to move on to the next one, um, which is Buffer. And I'm literally just sitting here with my arms crossed watching it. I should probably uh, have done a little video so that you can see the video of me sitting here with my arms crossed, uh, just watching it with um, watching it with you. So I sometimes feel a little bit guilty watching it just literally do that. So I have two screens and I, I, I you know, I'll either you know do a little bit of work on on the other one or um, maybe watch something catch up on something that I've, I've been missing if it's late at night um, you know some series or whatever it is okay so we're signing up to buffer now and again it's using the OA which I love um, and that's it I mean I don't really you know I don't you know I'm not gonna sit here and I guess go through all of them with you but I just wanted to show you exactly how it all works. I mean, you know, how long have we been on here for? We've been on, just want to leave that alone. Okay, so it's now going to delicious. Been on for three minutes. Okay, so we've been on for three minutes. And uh, we've signed up to like three sites already. And don't forget, we haven't done anything. So on first, um, you know, on looking at first, they're really, you don't know where the 08 is we had to we had to look a little bit for the delicious 08 because normally i mean it's 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 just out of the way i guess they want you to i don't know why they want you to maybe sign up more with uh with the uh username passwords as such but for some reason they hid it out of the way we had to find it on the login page um so that will log you in it'll do the 08 and then i believe it pops up with the uh a username it's going to need in there at some point just to confirm password yeah there you go okay so we just the username and password so it'll add that in for you and sign up and that's it so you're gonna need to babysit it a little bit um, and have a little bit of intervention there when needed so you have the pause scripts down there as well if you see it really messing up and you want to just jump in there um, but generally you shouldn't have to but all the options are there just in case and um, another successful sign up and um, it's totally randomized by the way it's automatically randomized guys just that's I guess I'll give you a running commentary on everything while we're watching it do the uh, sign ups but that's what these numbers are over here um, it's just randomly waiting for a set between a set amount of time to um, 
to go ahead and make the actions and do the actions so that each time it's coming and running this macro, um, regardless of whether or not it's you or me or someone else, it's not coming with the exact same timings in between because that's an easy thing to find, easy thing to find out. Okay, so Digo, and again, the OAuth authorization, which is definitely the preferred way of signing up. Now, if this didn't have a, if, it, if this didn't have more than one profile and it's just got one profile and all the usernames are the same, this particular um, set of accounts the, um, were created with different passwords for Facebook. So if it would have had just one profile for everything, you wouldn't need that interaction, that human interaction, just by the way. The only reason you need that interaction is if you've got multiple profiles. So you know, bear that in mind when setting these up to make sure that you have projects that you're going to have only one set of profiles. So you could just set them up and just let it run and easily do the sign ups and not have you come in and, you know, interfere anywhere to make sure that it's picking the right profiles. Um, so, yeah, anyway, and just, but just in case it does, it tells you on the pop up which um, profile it's going to be for. So if you're doing it in the uh, Browse your IA in multi-threaded, it'll always tell you in the pop-up what it's for. Um, so you can find that easily. All right, so it's going into creating Evernote now. And I think the last, that's the last one that we have with the O8 um, authorization and the um, the O whatever it's called authorization, you know what I'm talking about. Um, and then the next one is the only one or the last one. Get Oh no, Get Pocket is the last one with the OA that we have currently in the Automation Club. Um, so again, you can do this if you have, I mean, even if you have multi-profiles, you could run it in Browse IA. You just need to make sure that you're going to be there clicking the uh, the profiles each time. Um, so it, it could very well be that you've just set up a whole bunch of profiles and none of them have got more than one um, profiles in each one. And it could just go and run through each one without you having to, you know, jump in and, and amend anything. It'll just go and use the information straight from the profile that you've already filled out. So the only reason it's popping up for me is because I've got more than one profile connected to that project. So that's it. That's the only reason. See, I'll show you. See, because I've got Facebook and that. So if I wouldn't have a Facebook profile, it would automatically just grab that password and put it in there. And that's it. So we're done. We're, we've signed up. And now, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one more. And this is the last one. Which is um, which is Instapaper, and this is the old school one where we don't have any OAuth on it yet. It's just going to come come to the page, add the username or the email and the password, and that's it. And we're all signed up. And don't forget, you know, if you've got a really fast computer, you've got a really fast internet connection, just open up Browse OIA and just open up as many threads as it can handle, um, and you're good to go. And it's it does exactly this um, in Browse IA multi-threaded okay so you see it oh, did it did it click the button I'm not sure it did click the button okay so sometimes it looks like it's finished but it's still about to click so we've got to look at adjusting the timing there a little bit um, but we've just done the sign up so that's this is again for the IA club the, uh, the macros club if you guys are on that this is all there for you um, and if you've just gone and manually signed up or however which way you've signed up the next videos I'm going to show you how to connect the scripts with the uh, um, if this then that um, site. So now we've just signed up to these sites. And again, we're going to have all of them in there. So what are we going to have? We're going to have as many signups as we have as we have um, logins. So look at all these logins. We've got all these logins, and then we're going to have that with the signups. So right now we've only got about a third of the way down. Um, so we've got more to go and more to come this week, guys. All right, so there's loads and loads and loads in there this month already. Anyway, um, ending the video now, and I'm going to go into the If This Then That scripts in the next video for everyone. All right, see you in the next video, guys.